Hello, my soccer universe. After the neat and tidy Champions League qualification fixtures, we're going into the jungle that is the Europa League. There's an incredible 46 games in qualification round two, 10 of which are on the so-called champions path, basically uh, teams that are champions and there is a separate pathway for them into the Europa League if they get eliminated in the Champions League. Um, Honestly, it's way too many games. And so I decided, yes, I downloaded all the logos because you know, you gotta be prepared for that. But I said, no, let's select just a few games and let's select the games from teams in the leagues that I'll be covering this season. So those are the eight leagues. Uh, we have uh, Spain, England, Germany, Italy. Then we have Portugal, the Netherlands, and we have Austria. And of course, I'm forgetting League R. How could I forget about League R? So yeah, those uh, leagues and then add a few more. So I've selected a total of 16 out of the 46 games that either feature a team from these leagues or in, so are in some way interesting because it's interesting country-wise matchups or the teams have been doing well or they have personal interest to me. And I don't know how many you will be able to see or not, but you know, I hope I will be able to see the team I'm wearing here, Milan, which I don't find kind of fair that they're already in the second qualification round. Before we get to this uh, full slate, also um, look at the background. These are all the Europa League teams. I left the last goal from the Bundesliga video up there because, hey, we hopefully will make it to the group stage. We have played at least in qualification round three. And the only team of these that does not play uh, only the Europa League is, of course, Sevilla. But Sevilla is so synonymous with the Europa League that I decided to put them up there. So now here are the first eight games. We'll start with Luxembourg, Netherlands. And this is only because of Willem Dwey in there against Progrès Niederkorn from Luxembourg. Then Granada is playing in Albania, Toyota Duras, uh, Rangers against the Lincoln Red Imps. And may I say, go on Wikipedia, look, look up the crest of the Lincoln Red Imps. It's one of the more crazy ones. I chose uh, Copenhagen against Göteborg um, because it's a Sweden-Denmark matchup, which is always uh, dicey. And you know, there is a sort of proximity between those two towns. So that might be interesting, although I would expect that the Danes will prevail. Spurs, first big team that we have in there, um, have to go to Bulgaria to Lok Plovdiv, uh, Galatasaray have to go to Azerbaijan, Nefci Baku, uh, also an interesting crest with this oil rig on there. Uh, for some reason I thought that uh, Ceseka from Sofia and Bate, that's an interesting matchup match because Bate we have seen a few, few times and Ceseka, horrible story, I mean you can find on YouTube uh, surely. The, the, the story there because there exist now two teams of the same name. This is supposedly the original uh, or is it Litex Lovic re christian or, or, or whatever. In any way, Tessica is such a big name in Bulgarian soccer that I think it deserved mention here. Rio Ave plays against Borat Spania Luka, so that's Portugal against uh, Bosnia. And then on the second page we have Wolfsburg also needs to go to Albania, so this is the second Albania team in AFK Kukesi. Uh, Hartberg Austrian team has to go to Poland, uh, this is the first European match ever. Piast Kliwice, then Milan, hopefully we'll have not much pro with the Shamrock Rovers. Then one of those duels that I was back and forth going in, but it's just too cool of a name. Viking from Stavanger with a very interesting crest, a kind of flag. It's the new one. They had a little bit more reddish and then they play in dark blue. Go figure. Against Aberdeen, who is a former winner of the UEFA Cup on the, in the 80s. So deserve to be in there. Dunajk Kastrej against Jablonets. That's the Slovak, uh, Slovakia against the Czech Republic. So from that mo uh, point, interesting. But the winner will play at Lusk in the next round. So that's why this is in there. Uh, Basel did well last year in the Europa League. So I included them uh, play against Osijek. Then a uh, Swiss French duel with Servette against uh, Stade de Reims. That I think will be interesting. And then don't ask me why, but I think Honved is another big name in European soccer. Uh, I mean, Honved was the spine of the big Hungarian team of the 50s and Malmö have been doing well, have been in the Champions League a few times, so that's why I included them. Go figure. 
Those are the 16 games that I chose, those are the 16 games I will watch, those are the 16 games I will report on, and then we will see who will make it to the third qualifying round, where there are, again, a lot of games, and I probably will have to do them all this time. So we, here we have nine games in the champion's path, and then a poultry 25, 26. So that's 35 games. <laughs> <laughs> in, the, in, the, in the league path. I'm not sure if I will choose everything, but you know, the goal is there. Anyway, let me know what you'll be watching. I probably will have no hard time the Wolfsburg and the Hardback game, but I'm really interested in the Milan game. And then, of course, whoever will play Lask. So let's see how it goes. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.